Fritz Haag uh, actually works between his architecture and design practice. Uh, it's a bit like a system of crop rotation, as he sometimes calls it. Um, there are the happenings and gatherings of sundown, salon, and schoolhouse, the ecology, ecology initiatives of Garden Lab, that includes also edible estates, and many other combinations of these different parts of his um, activity. Um, he has recently published his first book, Edible Estates, Attack on the Front Lawn. He's also given, uh, I think yesterday, uh, a speech at, uh, at the Fries Art Fair. A very warm welcome to Fritz Haag. Attention, humans of London. Those Romans just showed up one day a couple thousand years ago, and things have just not been the same since. At first it was okay, but lately it's become a real pain sharing this land around our river with you. We come to you today with some gentle suggestions, polite requests, and urgent demands. We are particularly excited about the possibility of some homes that you could make for us and we are hoping that you will share our enthusiasm. We are calling for a network of animal estates to be constructed throughout the City of London to replace the spaces that you have taken away from us. I think you will agree that we really do need each other, or at least you need us. So let's figure this out. Most sincerely, the animals of London that were here before you. I am, I am, I'm a bee. I'm a bee. I'm a bee. Hello, can you understand me, the bee? Hi, I'm Buzzy Bee. The bee. Hello. Hi, 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 higher, higher. Buzzy. Hi. Really high. How high can you go? Buzzier? No, no higher? There we go. <laughs> Hello? 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 I'm the brown banded carter bee. You need me. Over 70 crops in the UK are dependent on or benefit from my pollinating visits. I am demanding an immediate halt to your intense modern farming methods. At the perimeter of the city, based on a narrow and rather boring monoculture. I was once widespread in Britain. My numbers are now in drastic decline as one of the most endangered bees in the UK. I am demanding more plants in your city of London to nest, forage, mate, and hibernate. Right now, I am mostly clinging to the flower-rich habitat along the Thames Gateway. Kitchen gardens, yes! I also like the herbs used by cooks. I want honeysuckle. It provides a rich supply of nectar. Cultivated flowers, that's great too. Hey, how about planting flower-rich meadows with long corollas such as vetches, clover, dried nettle, and red bartsia? I also nest on the surface of the ground at the base of long vegetation. Farmers, leave a little around the edges for me. It is so annoying the way you are now cultivating right to the edges of your fields. In your hedgerows, relax. When you cut them back so regularly, they cease to be safe nesting sites. I'm asking for messier gardens. I also nest under accumulated plant litter. Abolish all insecticides. It indiscriminately kills me along with other insects, spiders, and many useful invertebrates. Do you have an old crumbling wall? Leave it for me. That will be a great place to nest. Just leave some tussocky, grassy areas in warm, sheltered locations. And finally, nest boxes, please. You can build a simple wood nesting box for me, like the ones you see here, to welcome me into your domestic gardens. Warmest appreciation to you all, and sorry for the stinging. I'm the hedgehog. I'm a slow hedgehog. Lazy, cute little hedgehog. Can you hear me? I'm the hedgehog. Alert! 
the humans of London, we are disappearing. My numbers have declined 50% in 15 years. I only remain in Regent's Park of the parks in London. At that rate, I will be gone in 2025 from your city. I can't deal with the vast, empty expanses of lawn, field, and concrete that have been spreading around since you arrived. I'm a great generalist with a happy existence at the bottom of your hedges and in your back gardens. We are hit by cars, chopped up by mowers, tangled in your tennis nets, and perish with our heads caught in your plastic containers. I am quiet, nocturnal, and discreet by nature. But now I have a few demands for you humans of London. I want more of the in-between neglected overgrown spaces. I love open woods and grassy heaths, cultivated land, scrub and sand dunes, parks and cemeteries. These are the spaces. These spaces are also good for the general environmental health of the city. So if I am there, it is a sign of a somewhat healthy landscape. Plus, I'm cute. Look how cute. Leave some places for me to nest. Do not make your garden too tidy. Let the grass grow. Dead branches lay and leaves pile up. I like brush piles, rocks, and other crevices. This is how I live. This is what I like. And keep those piles of leaf litter and branches around your garden for my hibernation between November and March. By the way, I would also appreciate a dish of water now and then, especially during the summer months. Leave dead around, wood around to encourage beetles. They are delicious. I would like to see more flowering plants in your gardens, please. This will attract the insects that I eat. When you are not playing tennis, furl your nets above the ground. I get tangled in them, starve and die. Cut the plastic rings off, four pack plastic holders. I get stuck, starve and die. Okay, you may think this is crazy, but can you reduce your speed limit for me? And why not help us London hedgehogs across the road when possible? Our defense system of prickly spines is no match for your cars. Each year, thousands of us fall to the violence of your tires and pavement. I am hereby demanding that every wall and fence in the city of London shall feature a hedgehog size hole somewhere at its base. Connect your green spaces for me so I can navigate your city. I may travel up to 200 yards in a night. Here's what I'm trying to avoid. Dogs, foxes, plow cats, badgers, and tiny owls. I can curl into a tight little ball. And finally, why not build me a home in your garden? I can, it can be a simple enclosure with a five inch opening like the ones you see here. Place it under a hedge, large shrub, or another concealed place. That'd be great. And in closing, you need me. I eat your pests. I am known as the gardener's friend, eating your slugs, beetles, and caterpillars. Thanks for your attention, people. Heron, I'm the heron, kind of squawky. Thank <laughs> you.
Many, many thanks to Fritz Heck for this amazing uh, manifesto. Very special thanks also to Karen Mata, who the first day uh, Fritz Heck's wonderful book, Edible Estates, actually came out, had FedExed me a copy, and was the reason for me to actually start to read his work. And Fritz Heck's um, manifesto leads us right away to our next speaker, Charles Jenks, who has for decades um, compiled, edited, and written architecture manifestos. Um, but before introducing him, we have a five-minute set change, and I will then introduce uh, Charles Tranks in, in five minutes. Thank you. <laughs> 